So while most of my colleagues suffer in the heat outside as field geologists, I get to go indoors into this nice, cool, air-conditioned, freezing space to escape the summer heat. All right, so we are in the Rice University Ice Core Lab, the only one we have on campus, I think. And right here, what we're looking at is glacial ice from Antarctica and Greenland. So this ice used to be snow that fell on Greenland uh, something around 20,000 years ago. So we're trying to preserve ice and specifically uh, the gases trapped in the ice, uh, which means that not only does the ice have to be cold, it has to be so cold that the gases can't leak out. And so that's why it's at minus 27 degrees Celsius in that freezer. So the bubbles of air in that ice trap the ancient atmosphere. So depending on when the snow fell and eventually became ice, that's how old the air is trapped inside those bubbles. And so what we're trying to do is we are melting that ice and extracting the air from a long time ago. We've looked at air as old as 20, 21,000 years uh, from uh, both Antarctica and Greenland. This air most often is used to understand the uh, composition of the ancient atmosphere. What was the concentration of different types of greenhouse gases and things like that uh, in the past? And what we're interested in is we are now looking at the traces of the different types of chemistry that were going on in the ancient atmosphere. And this is what sets us apart. We have a tracer of a certain type of chemistry. It turns out it's ozone chemistry. And so what, when we look at the air trapped inside those bubbles, we're looking for the traces of ozone chemistry. We've been able to track how much ozone there was in the ancient atmosphere. This hasn't been done before, and it's remarkable that we can even do it at all.